Rachel and welcome back to the channel, the channel, my channel. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, I'm doing great. I've just created this autumnal warm cut crease for you guys for autumn slash fall and I hope you guys like it so 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 much because I am, I am obsessed. I learned how to do a cut crease yesterday. So yeah, I hope you guys like it and without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> Okay guys, so I've already done my brows and I've done my foundation, concealer and set my face. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in a bit so we can start on the eyes. Okay, so first of all I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion as always. Okay, and just letting you know that I learned to do a cut crease yesterday. So mark your calendars kids, because yesterday was the day your mom learned how to do a cut crease. So I'm, I'm no professional at this, this is legit my second time doing a cut crease. So. Yeah. So first of all, we're going to start with the Chocolate Bar Bonbon bon Palette from Too Faced. This beauty right here. And we are going to go... Oh my god, I'm just dropping it. We're going to go in with this shade right here, which is Da Vinci, and just put that all over our lids. I just always like to have uh, just like a white-ish beige base. So it's kind of like it sets the uh, primer... Is that a ship? <laughs> so it kind of sets the uh primer okay so the first color we're going in with is this color right here which is almond truffle and we're going to be putting that from crease up to brow bone ish a little bit on the brow bone you know and using a fluffy brush to do that <laughs> yeah it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be cleaning up underneath afterwards anyway so the next colour we are going to be adding on top of that is the colour Mocha, Ooh, right here, wait, yeah, we're going to be using the colour Mocha right here. That's seriously a boat. We are quickly switching palettes and we're going to be using the Makeup Revolution Neutrals vs Neutral palette and we are going to be going in <gasps> with this beauty colour right here which is a really, oh my god, which is a really strong orange but we're not going to take too much of this, it's just to warm up the whole uh, eye and you know make it look very autumnal, I learned that word yesterday, it means autumny, I think, yeah autumnal, <laughs> using the same fluffy brush. I mean, if this is your first time doing a cut crease as well, then welcome to the club. I just can't believe I just recently learned how to do this, like... I wish I'd learned it before, like, now that I know it, like, the possibilities are endless. I could do, like, glitter cut crease. I'm gonna do that for Christmas, wait for, for that tutorial. <laughs> Once you feel like you've blended it out enough, then blend some more, because you never know. When in doubt, blend it out. I love that saying. Okay, so the last colour, colour, the last shade we'll be going in with is a, we're going back to the Bonbon bon palette, so we'll be using this shade, my fav, one of my favourite shades from the Bonbon bon palette, the shade Bordeaux right here, and it's, oh, it's like a chocolatey, chocolatey love, I don't know, and I'm taking a smaller brush just to go right on the crease, so it's kind of like the lowest shade that is also the darkest shade. And to blend that out, we'll be using a MAC 2 Is it boat season or something? What the hell is going on? I'm so sorry, I don't even live near to the ocean. <laughs> anyway, we're taking a MAC 217 brush. This isn't actually a real MAC 217, it's a dupe from eBay, so broke. Okay, once that is done, we are going over to, not the difficult part, but the cut crease part, which can be a bit challenging, so don't rush yourself brush yourself <laughs> no uh, don't rush yourself with uh, doing this so i'm going to take some foundation i've tried using a concealer to clean up and you know do the lid part but i found that a foundation works better here i'm just using my john thomas studio cosmetics uh, foundation that i have just laying around and i'm just going to put a little bit on my hand use a concealer brush and we are going to be you see where your lid like have do it with your eyes open because then you can see where the crease is so my crease is right here so I'm just gonna apply foundation 
on that crease part and kind of clean it up and once we go towards here just flick it out like it's not kind of like um eyeliner but not <laughs> so once you get to there just flick it out so it kind of creates a little wave yesterday when i was doing this for the first time i was fucking screaming because i actually managed to do it i mean i'm still working on perfecting my cut crease but i just like this look so much i felt like i would i should share and it'd be fun to look back at if i actually do get better at makeup <laughs> and once you are happy with that you can move on to the other eye okay once you have done that we are going to quickly set it before it actually creases so taking just a regular fluffy whatever brush with nothing on it we are going to be taking this shade right here from the neutrals versus neutrals palette is just a beige it kind of matches so it's just going to set the eyes basically right so going back into the cut crease we are going to darken the line in between where the you know concealer slash foundation starts and we're just going to use that same dark shade bordeaux with a small brush just to define that a bit okay so once that is done we can go in with eyeliner and i'm just going to do a winged liner because that's what fits perfectly for this so take your time don't stress yourself with the eyeliner i always you know take a minute i breathe in I breathe out, try to calm myself down and try to like collect myself before I actually do eyeliner because it takes it takes patience and time and precision so let's just hope that today is a good eyeliner day for me. <laughs> not bad, not bad. But the only thing is like this eye works really good but this eye is like... Oh, I hate doing the other eye. We can live with it, we can live with it. It's okay. Okay, so going over my eyeliner, I'll be using just a regular gel liner and a small, if I can find it, uh, and a small, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. And a small uh, gel liner brush just to go over, just to make it more dark uh, and just classic crisp, you know. Okay, so now we are going to highlight underneath our brow bone. So I'm just going to be using the, do you know what? I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer just to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and I'll be using the Full Slash Epic from Max Factor. Okay, after we have applied mascara, I'll be going in with some falsies. You don't have to do this, but I feel like it kind of completes the look a bit. Um... So I'll be using these lashes right here. These are from Isla and they are the Exaggerate. There, once now we have applied the lashes and the eyes are down, I'm going to zoom you guys out to finish the whole look with contour and, you know, highlight, blush and lips. Okay, so now that we have done the eyes, I'm going over to contouring. So I'll be using the one and only Hula Bronzer as always. And what brush should I use today? I'm going to use my Hika 112 Slanted Brush. I talked about this in my Holy Grail products video. So, wait, did I? Yes, I did. I think I did. I? Yeah, I think I did. Take some of that and mm -hmm. don't mind my skin at the moment. It is in full rage. It is breaking out because of season change here. and I am not living for it, to be honest. Who is actually living for breakouts? I love breaking out. Nobody has said nobody ever. Jesus Christ. No, I hate breaking out. It's the worst. Oh, I hate it so much. We've got Jesus Christ, Rachel. Oh, but yeah, I hate breaking out. It's not fun at all. Okay, so the blush we are going to be using for today, I am feeling a bit of orgasm. And if you don't know what that is, that is the NARS. <sighs> if I'm 
presentation. It is the NARS blush called Orgasm. It's gorgeous. It's the actually only warm type of uh, blush I have right now. So <laughs> it's perfect for fall just to warm up your cheeks. Oh, yeah. So over to my favorite part, which is none other than highlighting so we'll be using the as always Mary Luminizer because I just I just want a high and bright highlight using some of that and on top of that we'll be using the Urban Decay Naked Illuminate in Luminous <laughs> And we'll be just bit. This is actually also a body uh, highlighter, which is pretty cool. I'm going over with that because I want to shine. Let's watch this again. Hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. So, <coughs> moving over to lips. I'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, so over to lips, we are be we I'll be we are going to be using the sore lip liner first, and then we'll be going in with the. Uh, <laughs> I'm mixing up all the brands now. <laughs> we'll be going in with the NYX lip lingerie in bedtime flirt. Yes. <laughs> And there we have the look. So this is the final look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys want to try it out yourself. If you do, please send me a picture on Snapchat or Instagram or Twitter even. All my handles are down below. So if you want to go follow me there, you absolutely can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you are all about fall and you're like yo can't I just can't it just be fall year round because I would like that to be yeah so I'll see you guys in the next video and I love you guys so much bye